In this update we have a fixed ECU unit that we looked at last time that was broken. We have a new arrival from the uh, TVR and we have a first look at the engine ECU. This is the aluminium case of the ECU and we can see that the, some uh, water has got in and uh, the two screws at the bottom were well and truly and still are well and truly rusted in. And I managed to um, drill off the top which freed up the PCB. I checked before from some previous photographs online that I'd seen that there was no components under the board. And as you can see in some of the, in some of the pictures I'm adding in this video, the uh, the, the rusty screws had, had uh, got onto the board and actually you can see some damage to the connectors and the pins of the uh, ICs. I've uh, replaced the IC sockets now so they're nice and clean and it all boots nicely and I've uh, made some effort to clean off the rusty marks. I think we're going to have to get some conformal coating to uh, retreat the boards in case the water ever gets back in. The engine ECU out of its case, it's in a test setup, excuse the messy cables. We have a power supply which is not switched on yet. A Raspberry Pi Pico which is going to be generating some signals, the main, the main one being the crank signal which is filtered here and then be fed into the ECU and then I'm uh, showing some various traces. So let's power it up. This ECU is powered up, it's not doing anything just yet. And on the scope, top trace is going to be the crank signal. Set of blue and purple are going to be the ignition signals from one bank. The green one is the fuel injection signal. So if we run the test, you can see it's booted up. The, the, uh, we're about 4,000 RPM simulated here. And it's doing things, which is a good sign. At the other side of the uh, diagnostics cable, we're running the AGP diagnostics application and it's showing us various signals. We can see our RPM and it's obviously complaining about some things as we're not feeding in a few of the signals. We're not feeding in air temperature or air pressure at the moment. We have lambda, we've got throttle position, we've got water temperature and obviously we've got the uh, crank signals. This is the repaired ignition ECU. The uh, driver transistor was uh, failed and uh, the bright orange relay, which is the replacement, was also failed. We now have a working unit, so let's test it. Is the ignition on? Just come on, and if we press and hold the start button, the start light comes on, which would drive the solenoid, take the finger off, and then finally we can press the stop button. The new arrival is the um, steering wheel control ECU, which is given it's living lived inside the car, it's in pretty good condition. Some some staining on the pins that come from the switches, but they should probably clean up. The uh, looks like we might have got some water in there or something, but we could we can try and clean that up. But I've, this is quite a low power board, I think, so it's not carrying a high amount of current. And Matthew's also printed a rather snazzy 3D box for this, which we can put together. That's much better than what came out of the factory. It's a good start. That's it for this update. See you next time when we hopefully we make some more progress.